Lord, we know that you love Muslims. Your word says that you love the whole world, that you gave Jesus for all of us to be saved. So we pray not just for them, we pray for ourselves, Lord, that we receive your love for them. We pray that you take away the fear, which is the spirit of Islam, from our hearts, that we might not fear them, but love them. Your word says, perfect love casts us fear. Cast out the spirit of fear among us Christians, Lord, that we might love Muslims as you love Muslims. Thank you for reaching out to Muslims in the Middle East. Thank you for opening their hearts and minds to receive your word, Lord. Thank you for appearing to them in visions and dreams, Lord. Thank you for Iran, for the revival, for the awakening in Iran. Thank you that you have promised, Lord. We remind, remember and remind you of your promise in Jeremiah 49, 38, that you say, you shall set your throne in Iran. So we pray with you and we work with you for that to happen. Thank you that Iran will be first Islamic nation that turns to Christ, Lord. We rejoice with you, and we want to work with you to see that happen. Thank you for appearing to many Muslims, and we pray that you continue to do that. Bring miracles as you have more and more in the hearts of Muslims, in the lives of Muslims. Let them see your love and glory, Jesus. And I pray for courage that Christians in the Middle East, the Muslim background believers, not be suffocated, oppressed by the spirit of fear, which is the spirit of Islam, that they might be brave to shine their light in that dark place. Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you for doing your part. You died on the cross for the Muslims, and you're appearing to them personally. So, Lord, enable us to do our part that we might love them and we might share the gospel with them. Thank you.